Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Elwood, and you are watching The Political Vigilante. Well, we're two and a half years into the Epstein story. Remember when I predicted Jeffrey Epstein would be murdered in prison when they denied his bail in the summer of uh, 2019? And on that Friday, they unsealed a bunch of uh, documents. And then that Saturday, he hung himself in prison. Well, we've had a new hanging. Every time a billionaire pedophile that's part of a global sex trafficking ring gets arrested, they just seem to be so distraught that they hang themselves. And I always say Epstein hung himself with a paper t-shirt. Why do I say that? Epstein was in, he was on suicide watch. And when you're on suicide watch, you're given paper clothing because this is like a cloth clothing. I could tie this into a noose and hang myself, right? To give you paper clothing. He hung himself with a paper t-shirt, right? All the crazy stuff surrounding Epstein. Remember, the guards just weren't paying attention. The camera wasn't working. We couldn't find the footage. Oh, zoinks, bingo, boink, boink. We couldn't figure it out. So all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Epstein's alleged pimp, Jean-Luc Brunel, found hanged in a cell. The French modeling agent was accused of procuring girls for the late financer who died the same way. This came out this week, over the weekend, Saturday. This is Saturday night or Sunday. My telephone exploded when this hit. Jeline Maxwell, everyone's like, oh, she's going to get suicided. I don't think she is. I think she has too much information. Jeline Maxwell has my guess, uh, like treasure troves of hard evidence, videotapes of the most powerful people in the, in the world, you know, uh, raping children. And my guess is because she grew up, her dad was a Mossad agent. She has a, you know, what you call a kill switch or whatever. If she goes down, she's like, this all gets released and you can't find it. That's why I've talked about her trial they're very much planting the seeds for, oh, she's going to, she's going to lose, you know, she's going to get freed on a technicality. Oh, this one juror forgot to check this box about, he was, he was abused. So as a kid, so he forgot to put that in the, oh, well, there's going to, they keep planting those seeds. Jean-Luc Brunel, we covered this a year ago and he got arrested. Him and Peter Nygaard and Jeline Maxwell all got arrested around the same time about a year, a little over a year ago. It was December of, what was it? December of 20 in there. They all got arrested at the same time. And I did all these videos talking about it. And we haven't heard anything from this. Nothing. We heard very little from the Maxwell case. So now here we are neck deep in Russia, Ukraine, hysteria. And oh, by the way, Gene Lee just happened to hang himself. And this story, this is from like Buzzfeed and it, you know, it was on all those types of, of news outlets but I'm going to just show you they're trying to sell us that this was a legitimate suicide. I just want to show you, this is the language in the story, not my language. The 76 year old was found during a nighttime check by guards at Lasante early Saturday. Officials told Le Mans, right? That's a French publication. His attorneys told the paper that the apparent suicide was not driven by guilt, but by a deep sense of injustice. Let's try to follow that logic. So I guess the logic they're saying is Jean Luc Brunel was innocent and he was arrested. It was an injustice. This is a, his lawyers, I guess, are trying to frame it this way. And again, we talk a lot about the framing of the Epstein because we know this from the Maria Farmer interview with Whitney Webb. We know this. I've shown this to you. I have a whole Epstein playlist on YouTube. Watch it, all of them. Cause I've traced this. And one of the things we've seen is that the, there is a global pedophile sex trafficking ring run by the most wealthy, powerful people in the world. It is a multi-billion dollar industry. We know this from Epstein survivors like Virginia Roberts, Jufree and Maria Farmer and Annie Farmer. We know this from flight logs. We know this from photos. We know this from 
pretty hard evidence, right? We know this from sworn depositions that these are the most wealthy people in the world. We've heard the biggest names. We've heard Trump was mentioned, right? But I'm showing you the, so, so the most powerful people in the world, they control everything. So what they never want is to show the, how people to really see what's really happening. So they always try to seal it off, right? When Epstein was murdered in prison, Oh, he hung himself. They, they wanted it to go away. It didn't. Hashtag Epstein didn't kill himself trended. No, everyone was talking about it. When I saw Lindsey Graham talking about it in a congressional hearing, I was like, oh man, this is not what they want. So they've been very, when these people get arrested, it's been very sealed off. We haven't heard anything about this. So now they're trying to seal it off like it was legit suicide. He was tired of the injustice. So if you think this something is an injustice, you would hang yourself? Really? Nelson Mandela was, was a victim of injustice. He didn't hang himself. I'm sure he had dark days where he wanted to, but he didn't hang himself. He stayed in prison for 30 years and got out and righted that wrong. Julian Assange hasn't hung himself because he knows he's innocent. You see all these people who we, they know they're innocent? They don't hang themselves. Jean Luc Brunel hung himself. The suicide of Jean Luc Brunel. Um, this is this is a quote by Virginia Roberts, too free. The suicide of Jean Luc Brunel, who abused me and countless girls and women, ends another chapter. I am disappointed that I was not able to face him in a final trial and hold him accountable for his actions, but gratified that I was able to face him in prison, in person in Paris to keep him in prison, she said. And I want Virginia, I mean, the victims of this guy was awful. I mean, he got, he got like twin 12 year olds for Epstein. I mean, he was on Epstein's plane countless times as was Maxwell. So when you, when you start seeing the most powerful people in the world, right? So we know Bill Clinton has been on 26 times, despite the fact he only said he was on four times right there. He's on, that's how guilty person Hillary was on his plane twice. Flight log show this. The Clintons read his compound, Epstein's compound in New Mexico numerous times. Originally, we only had one flight log of Trump, which Trump supporters in the QAnon crowd was like, see, he just was on one time. He saw this guy was awful. And that's why Trump was going to, the QAnon people think that Trump was going to bring down, Trump was going to bring down the, uh, the global pedophile ring. Well, here's another thing that came out in the Maxwell trial in December, the last week of the trial, 118 pages of flight logs were released. In it, we found four more flights that Trump took on Epstein's plane, totaling five. And the media said nothing. That was the most glaring silence you would think. Joanne Reed you know, Rachel Maddow, all these people, Jake Tapper, who just hate Trump and, and cashed in on talking about how bad he was, would have jumped all over that news and they said nothing. So it's become very clear. All of these arrests are very much to just keep this shut down. Why isn't this Gene Luke Brunel committing suicide in prison, just like Epstein. This is like a glaring. No one has a question. No journalist is like, wait a minute. Nobody? Just me and other YouTubers like me and people on social media? Brunel, who founded Karen Models and MC2 Model Management, started being investigated by French prosecutors in August of 19. That's Epstein died in August 8th or something of 2019. He was arrested in December, 2020 while attempting to board a flight to Dakar and Senegal. Yeah, it was December of 20 when they all went down Maxwell, Brunel and Peter Nygaard. Peter Nygaard is basically the Epstein of Canada all in the modeling agency, Nygaard modeling, Brunel modeling, Trump owned a modeling agency. Epstein, we get girls from Trump. Like we all know this. Here's Peter Nygaard with Jeline Maxwell. 
So I don't believe that this suicide, just he hung himself out of the injustice of it all. I'm wrongfully imprisoned, so I'm going to hang myself? I think if you were wrongfully imprisoned, you'd be like, I want to get out and prove my innocence. And we followed the, the Maxwell trial. Maxwell's lawyers renew call to seal jurors' legal arguments. This is what I've told you. When they found her guilty, I'm like, then I had Whitney Webb on the show to discuss it. I'm like, well, I hope I'm wrong. I hope she does real jail time. I said, either one of two things is going to happen. She's going to do like 18 months in some country club prison, or there's going to be some type of acquittal or she's going to do, you know, get six months probation or something. And now they started planting this seed of like, Oh, mistrial. They're planting the mistrial seed. I've shown you that who was the prosecuting attorney in the Jalen Maxwell trial it was James Comey's daughter, Maureen Comey. She's the lead prosecutor. I showed you how she uh, is a huge fan, you know, and, and the judge I showed you. So when they had evidence thrown out in the Maxwell trial, she just kind of went, eh, it's a setback. She didn't fight hard for that. So they're giving the Maxwell trial the appearance of, well, hey, everybody had their day in court, so we tried. And now something's going to happen with Peter Nygaard. So either Brunel, like, wouldn't play ball, so they killed him. They're like, he's expendable. Maxwell's the real threat. Because we learned from Maria Farmer that Epstein was actually middle management in terms of the global sex trafficking. Les Wexner. He's the head of the North American snake, according to Maria Farmer, in terms of the pedophile ring. Whitney Webb has shown you how flights from the Clinton's airfield in Arkansas would fly to Ohio, where Les Wexner is, which is like so many people are trafficked out of Ohio. Les Wexner's never mentioned in any of this. This is like what the mob does when mid-level people get arrested. If they're worried those mid-level people are going to give them, give them up, all those mid-level people get killed. So probably Brunel was talking about cutting a deal and giving up some names and suddenly he had to hang himself over the injustice of it all. Maxwell has too much leverage on all of them, so they can't kill her because she'll let it all loose. She doesn't care. Nygaard, something's going to happen with Nygaard. He's next. And it'll happen over the weekend. All these suicides happen on weekends. When the media isn't like, because if this came out breaking news on a, on a weekday, the media would probably pick it up at somewhere and someone would start running with it. And so they don't want people running with it. So it happens over a weekend. It was weird. They both killed themselves on a Saturday. Huh? NBA All-Star Weekend, that Winter Olympics are happening. Oh, Putin, Ukraine, Putin, Putin, Ukraine, 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 Putin. Brunel kills himself. What's that? Oh, Olympics, 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 uh, Ukraine, Ukraine. Nygaard's next. Remember the judge? I showed you the judge in the Jalene Maxwell case. She was in a member of the Skull and Bones, which is the secret society, the, the female member of the Skull and Bones, which is Quill and Dago. So she's one of these blue bloods. So you don't think in this, in the, in these blue blood organ, this skull and dagger, quill and bones, you don't think there's any like pedophiles in there. What pedophiles want is to be able to rape children in broad daylight and get away with it. That's what they want. She's the one who said, Alan Dershowitz, uh, Whitney Webb pointed this out as did Maria Farmer. This is where we find out that the Allison Nathan, the tr uh, judge in the Maxwell trial, um, was a treat for me to get to see these two luminaries. She's referring to Alan Dershowitz as a luminary. Alan Dershowitz, who's been named. How come he hasn't been arrested? Prince Andrew just made a deal with Virginia Roberts Jew Free to settle out of court financially. Let's not forget to... Um, this is again from Whitney Webb. 
Absent from mainstream discourse on Jalene Maxwell's ongoing trial is any mention of the ties, not only of herself, but her family to Israeli intelligence. Those ties forged by Jalene's father, Robert Maxwell, are critical to understanding Jalene's history and her role in Jeffrey Epstein's sexual blackmail and trafficking network. This is something Whitney Webb has done a fantastic job covering, and her and I have talked about it on my show numerous times, which is this private intelligence is all, well, not private, but just intelligence in general, mainly Mossad and the CIA. I interviewed John Kiriakou on this show, and John Kiriakou, who, who's in my Epstein playlist, former CIA, CIA whistleblower, the only CIA person to go to jail for being a whistleblower, said, while it's not on the books, like the CIA doesn't say you can go get children for pedophiles, but he said, if you were trying to turn, get an asset and that person was a pedophile and you got children for them, the CIA would look the other way. He said that a CIA person said, go watch the interview. It's from two years ago. He said that. He also said when Epstein died, he said to his friend, this really, this looks like they're Israelis is what John Kiriakou said on this show. He was asking the question, did Mossad have something to do with Epstein's death. <clears throat> also, where is Jalene Maxwell's headshot? There is none. There is none. This is all we get from the trial, these sketch drawings. No photographs of this. We can find these photographs. Virginia Roberts, Prince Andrew, Jalene Maxwell. Virginia Roberts was a child at the time. Here's photographs. Trump hanging out with Prince Andrew while he was president, June. More photos, Jalene Maxwell at Chelsea Clinton's wedding. This was in 2011. This was two years after she settled out of court. So there's all these photos, but we can't, there's not one photo from any of these trials. Here's Maxwell's siblings defending her. They're, this is outside of the courthouse. These rat-faced pedophile supporters, because Jalene Maxwell was a pedophile, they always call her pimp and madam. They say, always change it. But she participated so that she's a pedophile. She's a rapist. If you have small children, watch out for female pedophiles too. Not just there's male pedophiles, but there's a lot of female pedophiles. So these people are... Outside the courthouse, there's a journalist getting photos. Why can't we get any of this? Here's some other photos. Oh, here's Trump. There's also these two, Epstein and Maxwell, were invited to Clinton's White House in the 90s. Here's Bill Gates, Jeffrey Epstein, the uh, CEO of Barclays, Les Stanley, and also uh, J.P. Morgan Chase later, Larry Summers, former Treasury Secretary, Boris Nikolic, who was Gates' advisors, and he was the executor of his will. He ran the finances for the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. You remember Melinda Gates? She left her husband because of all the Epstein connections. We're going to go online right now in real time and we're going to just look, we're going to, and I'm going to use Google. Let me use the biggest, I'm not a fan. I usually use Ecosia.org, but we're going to just use Google because I want to see, are there any mug shots of Jean Luke Brunel? You want to do that with me? Let's, let's just do that together. Let's share the screen and we'll go here. Here's the daily beast article. I was all these photos. All right, there's Virginia Roberts. Let's just look, okay? Jean, Luke, Brunel, mug shot. Arrested. So this is his arrest when he got arrested December 17th. This is on NBC. Arrested at Charles de Gaulle Airport. Okay. 
no photos. He was arrested at Charles de Gaulle airport. No photos. Okay. That's NBC. Um, two days later charged with rape of a minor and Jeffrey Epstein probe. This is from December 19th, 2020. Okay. All right. These are protesters. All right. No mugshots. No mugshots. Um, three days ago. All right. Arrested on suspicion of surprising girls found dead in French jail. Not a mugshot. That's Epstein's mugshot, but no Jean Br Brunel mugshot. Let me get this fucking stupid thing off the screen. No mugshots. There's no mugshots. There's no mugshots. There's no mug. There's no prison photos. There's no nothing. Let's go back to again since Jean Luke Brunel mugshot. Found dead. Arrest in Paris. Let's see. This is again from 2020. This is CBS News. Tears of joy for his alleged victims. I'm glad the victims got some got some peace. No mugshot. There's his accuser. Uh, there's no mugshots. Whether it's a year old or a few years old, we want to buy your car. All right. So go to Carvana. And this is an ad. Answer a few questions. This is from 2020, December 2020, a little over a year ago. In seconds. When you're ready, we'll come to you, pay you on the spot, and pick up your car. That's it. Let's see if there's anything. There's no. There's no photos of him being arrested. At Carvana. None of Maxwell. Well, a French woman has filed a legal complaint alleging sexual misconduct by a former associate and friend of Jeffrey Epstein. She made the claims against French modeling agent Jean-Luc Brunel. She's the latest in a series of women to contact the police about Brunel. Arlene Cobb reports from Paris. Paris, the capital of fashion, attracts young women from across the globe, hoping to make it in the competitive world of modeling. But it can also attract men looking to take advantage of them. I know I was raped. I know that. This former model says Jean-Luc Brunel, a model agent and once a close friend of Jeffrey Epstein, spiked her drink and assaulted her. Police searched Epstein's luxury Paris apartment last month, but so far the case has turned up few leads about the American financier. However, a call for witnesses issued in September saw several women, mostly former models, come forward with allegations of sexual assault by Brunel over three decades. This I Canadian, who does not want to be identified, I is one of them. On a night out clubbing in 1987, she says Brunel, whom she knew from modeling, asked her to accompany him to his apartment to pick up something, which she did. Do you want a drink? And I said, sure, why not? And then I don't remember anything. He had drugged my drink. The next thing I remember is waking up in his bed and he was beside me and he was sleeping and, and I was naked. And um, I was wondering how I got there. Went into the living room and got... So those are those women's accusations. Uh, again, no mugshot. Here's another article found dead. Found dead in a prison cell. There's the corner of the prison. No mugshot. <laughs> what? 
arrested in France. New York Times. This is from 2020. Okay. No mugshot. None of these people have mugshots. No mugshot, no mugshot, no mugshot. Found dead. Okay, there's the photo of the prison. No mugshots. Is he dead? I, I don't like getting too tinfoil hatty on this kind of stuff, but it is odd. There's no shots of him in the prison. There's no shots of him at, at arraignment, at trial. None, nothing. No perp walk, nothing. Nothing of Jalene Maxwell. Are they dead? Are they getting taken out? Or are they getting pulled out of there and they're said they're dead and they get, you know, facial reconstruction surgery and they're all living on an island somewhere? I mean, any of that stuff's possible. These are the wealthiest people in the world. I mean, we did find one photo of Jelaine Maxwell. Oh, there she is. Isn't she adorable? Rat, rat face. Peter Nygaard's next. This is, um, you know, if the January 6th people would have taken over the Capitol to stop a global sex trafficking ring, I would have been down with what they were doing. So, <laughs> no one in the media is demanding a mugshot. No one in the media is asking any of these questions. No one in the media even calls Jeline Maxwell a rapist or a pedophile. They won't even call Jean Luc Brunel like, oh, he procured girls for, they always still dance around it. No, these are pedophiles. They're all pedophiles. I, 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 it shocks me, but then it doesn't. So, um, Maxwell's trial is going to be, it's going to be a mistrial or something like that. When it happens, it'll happen on a day when it's like NATO troops go to the Ukrainian border or something like that. DEFCON 5, you know, it'll be that. It'll be that. And oh, by the way, Maxwell, Ma uh, mistrial, uh, mistrial. What's that? How's that? Peter Nygaard uh, slipped and fell on a, Bar of knives. What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What happened? Ah, Ukraine, Russia. All right. Good luck, everybody. Um, follow the money, connect the dots, get the truth. I've been talking about Epstein for two and a half years. I wish I was wrong. I would love to be wrong and see these people stand trial on TV, go to prison, and the victims get justice. That's who's really. I mean, if he's really dead, I mean, at least his victims are like, good. At least he's dead. At least Epstein's dead. But I want to see him. I want to see him. No photos. No photos at all. No photos of any kind. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Shave your knuckles for justice. Thanks for watching, everybody. Support what we're doing. Support what we're doing. We've been demonetized for a year because I have, I talk about this. I'm sure this doesn't help the fact, you know, me talking about Epstein. I talk about the intelligence community, private intelligence, Mossad, the CIA. <laughs> all right. It's all really weird, isn't it? <laughs> Shave your knuckles for justice.
Hey everybody, thanks for watching. We are still in our like ninth month of demonetization from YouTube. So support what we're doing at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood, which is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. It's free to sign up and there's a premium level at $10 a month. And for that, you get everybody on the platform's premium content. Myself, Lee Camp, Ron Placone, Jimmy Dore, Whitney Webb, Kim Iverson, Abby Martin, and many, many others. You can also support what we're doing at Venmo at Graham-Elwood and go to GrahamElwood.com. We have a PayPal button and a PO box. I also have crypto wallets, which are all in the show notes. Thanks for supporting what we do.